Hey everyone, Gavin here, and today I have another super valuable video for you showing you how to scrape LinkedIn creators as well as viral posts from those creators. This is an automation I sell to clients for thousands of dollars, but you're going to get it completely free. There is zero coding whatsoever, and we build the entire thing in make.com and Airtable. If you don't know these softwares, these are the most important tools for you to learn to truly systemize and automate businesses. If you're new to the channel and don't know who I am, my name is Gavin Thibodeau, and for the past few years, I've run a digital operations agency. Essentially, we are an agency that builds all the tech solutions for other businesses, including automations, AI systems, databases, and even full-blown softwares. My goal with this channel is to teach you everything I've learned and show you how to build incredible systems that are actually valuable to businesses. And you don't need any experience whatsoever. I went into this knowing absolutely nothing, but now, thanks to AI and no-code tools, I make a living being a tech consultant. If you want access to the make.com blueprints from this video, where you can simply import it and have the entire automation already built for you, as well as all of my make.com automations, Airtable templates, and a bunch of different AI systems, then join my community on school digital operations. We also have multiple weekly calls where you can get access to me and other experts. But anyways, let's jump into it. Essentially what we have here is the text post, the creator, the number of likes, the comments, shares, link to the post, post date, all that stuff that you'll need. You can use this for ideation. You can use this to track creators in your niche, whatever it might be. This is going to be super powerful. Personally, I'm going to use this to train an AI model. So if you didn't know, fine tuning an AI model allows it to be significantly better with certain things like writing content. So let me just show you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is Dojo. This is a software that you can use to train models. And essentially uh, we're just fine tuning existing models like ChatGPT or Claude to speak how we want, right? So this one is trained on over 80 posts from leading LinkedIn influencers, but this one's across various industries, right? So I'm gonna be doing one that is a bit more dialed in. This is for a client, but you can do it for yourself, right? So what I'm going to be doing is in the sales niche. So I'm only going to be giving it viral LinkedIn posts in the sales niche, and I'm going to be training it to sound exactly like those posts. So this one is still amazing. I could do something about sales right now. And I'm sure we'll still get an amazing output. Sweet. So as you can see, it's in a very unique style, right? If you try and do this with ChatGPT or Claude, it's never going to get the style of a typical LinkedIn post, first of all. How it's long like this, we have some bullets. And then the copy itself is just better than anything you'll get because it's been trained to sound like this, right? We put little quotes in here, bullet points, talks about your career and your life, you know, typical LinkedIn things that you'll see. And it's really, really hard to make posts on LinkedIn. I mean, let's be real. You don't want to sound cringe. You want to sound professional, but you want to sound like relevant and cool as well. So this is a literal lifesaver if you make content on LinkedIn. But let me show you how you can actually put a database like this together. And then you can do what you want. If you want to just take this as inspiration, if you want to train a model on it, I'll show you the whole process. So the first thing that you guys should do is just copy the base that I give you below. Essentially, this is just going to be a template for you. You can just copy it right into your Airtable. I'm using a copy here because I already had that one that I gave away, but I'll do an entirely new one here with some new creators. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just fill out this with like five or so creators that you want to get similar profiles for. So we're going to be making an API call via Rapid API to similar profiles. Basically, this is just who LinkedIn would recommend if you're on the interface, if you're on the app, they're all related in the same niche. And they're typically creators, you know, people with lots of followers, as long as that's like what you're inputting here. And we're going to filter out anyways by people with over 10,000 followers. So it doesn't matter if some come through the API calls who are less. But anyways, let's just fill that out. I'm going to go grab five graders in the sales niche that are really big that I follow. And I'm going to put that information in here. All right. So I have my influencers here. These are all great people, by the way. If you guys are into sales, follow these people. They have great content. We have their profile URLs right here. So highly recommend checking them out. And yeah, all you need for now, guys, is just the profile URL. Uh, we will be updating the rest of this info via our, our automation. And next thing you need to do is sign up for Rapid API. Basically, Rapid API is just kind of third party APIs that you can use. And we're going to use one that allows us to scrape LinkedIn. So everything you're going to watch me do here is completely free. I'm going to whip up a new Rapid API account because I used all my free credits creating the other database I made. But if you can pay like $5 and get uh, potentially hundreds of influencers in here, thousands of posts, uh, that should be good enough to, to take you a long way. But we'll get this populated with a lot of data for free so you guys can follow along and do it. But yeah, go sign up for Rapid API. So when you're in Rapid API, you're just going to look up LinkedIn. And I'll also paste in the one that I'm using down below. And we're going to choose this by easy here. So 
This is what you need. You'll see we have all of our endpoints here and we're gonna be doing similar profiles uh, as well as person data and then person posts. So we're gonna be making a few API calls here. I'm not gonna show you guys my API key, but this is the important stuff. You're gonna to need to copy your API key. You can just copy it right here over into make. So let's go over into make and we're gonna configure our first automation. So open up a new scenario and the first thing you're gonna do is search records in Airtable and connect to that base that you just copied. Select the creators table and just press okay here. Don't need to change anything. And next add an HTTP module. And we're gonna be making a request for the URL and all of this data, this is gonna come from Rapid API. So I'll go show you what to grab. So go down to the similar profiles endpoint here and then grab the URL from right here up until the question mark right before that. Copy that. Perfect, next we're gonna add a header and we're gonna put x dash rapid API dash key. And then you're just gonna paste in your API key right here. Perfect, and then just add a new item here and you're gonna do rapid API dash host. Uh, make sure all the capitalization, everything dashes is exactly like this. And as you'll see in the documentation here, uh, this is how you pass it in. So it's telling us this is a header. That means we need to pass this in in our header on make. So far, make sure that your HTTP module looks exactly like this with your unique API key. Now we're gonna add in a query string. So go ahead and add that right here. This is gonna be called profile URL with the U uh, capitalized, but all you guys have to do is just look at what they're doing here. And as you see, they have profile URL, just make sure it's exactly like that. Uh, the strange thing about these endpoints is some of the stuff is, is different. Like you'll pass in a URL, name it profile URL on this one, and then URL or link on the other one. So just stuff that happens on Rapid API, just make sure that you're looking into exactly what you're doing if something isn't working. In the profile URL, this is where we're gonna put profile URL. So we'll be automatically putting in those five URLs that we just got. And then lastly, we're just gonna say parse response, yes. We'll press okay. Cool, so now we're gonna test, uh, but you do need to subscribe to test. So you can just select the free plan. It's not a big deal. And they do give you quite a bit of API calls for free. So that's what we'll be doing. Feel free to go do that as well. Okay, so once you're subscribed, you'll notice we didn't have to put a credit card in, which is amazing. Let's just run this once, just modify the limit here to being one. We just basically wanna run one person through this, not use up all of our API calls, but we wanna make sure that it's working. So we'll run once. This should take a little bit because it is scraping LinkedIn. And then boom, uh, you'll see in data, we'll see the response here. We have five people that are related to uh, the first person we passed in, which was Nick. So uh, we have five profiles here related to Nick, which is amazing. And next thing we're gonna do is actually iterate through the array here. And we're gonna iterate through the response array. Basically, we just want these bundles going one after another because now we're gonna take these five people and get more data about them, right? So one thing that we need to do before we do that is you'll notice in the response here, uh, the data is pretty messy as far as the profile URL. Uh, the profile URL uses all of these parameters and when you try and pass that through another API call to get more information about this person, it just doesn't work. So what we're gonna do is take care of that with some regex. So just look up text, you'll see the text parser here. We're gonna be doing match pattern. This is how you do regular expressions and just paste in this. This is gonna be the pattern we're looking for and it's basically just gonna clean up those profile URLs so it's just the actual URL without any of those parameters afterwards. And then for the text, it's gonna be coming from our iterator here. It's gonna be the text action target. No idea why it's called that. That's just what the URL came as, press okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is make another API call to get more data. So uh, to do that, we're gonna use this person data guy right here and uh, this is gonna tell us how to configure this next module. So I am gonna just clone the other HTTP request uh, that we did and just modify what we need. So I'll show you how to do that. So just clone this guy right here, add him to the end, but we're gonna get rid of this similar profiles and we're gonna do person. So everything's the same on person besides the profile you're in. We're gonna X out of that and we're gonna pass in a body here. So select raw application JSON, and then for the request content, and tells us what to do in the documentation, and it just throws in the link. So as you can see in our example documentation here, it just throws in the link right like this. So we'll copy that, put it right here, and then we don't want this guy's URL, we want the one that we just cleaned up there from the text parser, so we'll just add that guy in there, make sure this is parsing. 
So the only thing to change in this one is it's a post request, it's not a get, so change this to post, and then we'll save. And then let's run this guy once to make sure it works. Perfect, so I'm gonna stop that. I don't wanna use all my credits right now, but we know that this request works. As you'll see, we're finding the details here. We have the link to profile, we have the bio, we have the amount of followers, which is exactly what we're looking for. So uh, this works and now we can map our data into Airtable. So first we're gonna search records, select the creators table here, and then for the formula, you're gonna do curly bracket profile URL equals uh, this little dollar sign guy here. We'll limit this to one. Next, we're going to upsert a record. Select the creator's table. Uh, and basically, upsert is either going to update a record if it finds it in that search record. So it's going to update this person's profile, this creator record. Or it's going to create a new one if it's not found, which is perfect for our use case. So we'll map in this guy here. Name, we're going to grab this stuff from here. We'll do full name. Title, we will grab their headline. Description, we'll grab their description. Followers and then profile URL. We can still just map our guy right here. And then perfect, so I'm gonna auto align. I'm gonna save this guy. So put this limit up to five and we'll get uh, similar profiles for all of these people. Uh, and then we'll do another automation to also enrich the people that we currently have because we definitely wanna use them as well. But let's run this and see what happens. All right, so the scenario is completed. Looks like we found a bunch of people. So if we go check our database, it's full. We have all these different influencers, which are all pretty much uh, related to, to B2B, to sales, to SaaS, you know, all similar stuff of what, of what I inputted. You'll notice that uh, Nick and Armand were both found in here. So we can go ahead and delete them from right here. So it's just John and Josh and Lori here that did not get enriched. Um, so I'm not gonna go build that automation, but all you would do is just the, latter part of getting the data on the person and then updating that in their table. So we can go ahead and do that if you want. And you can also go through these people, right? Maybe you don't want Grant Cardone, your Grant Cardone hater. Go ahead and remove him, remove anyone else, because now we're going to be getting these people's posts to create a viral post database. All right, so you can save this. I'm going to rename this to similar LinkedIn profile scraping. And then one thing that I mentioned that I didn't end up doing is you could just throw a filter in here if you wanted to filter by followers, right? So let's say I only wanted people with 10K followers. I would just put this and I would say numeric operators greater than 10K. Uh, and then that's only going to put in influencers into my database with 10K followers. But either way, it looks like most people have a lot of followers here. We have a couple lower people, but respect them. I respect them. You know, maybe we'll use some of their data as well. I'm sure they might have some posts. And then in the post, we're going to filter over 100 likes anyways. So totally up to you guys. All right. So create another scenario here. We're going to trigger it off again with the Airtable search record. Select the uh, base and the creators table. And then I'm just going to limit this to five. We could do all of them. You know, we have uh, more than this, but I don't want to use up all my credits right now, but feel free to upgrade your rapid API. And if you do more than five, it'll just go until the limit anyways. We'll press okay. Next is going to be another HTTP request. And this time it's going to be to the profile updates URL profile underscore updates. If we check the API over here, it is the uh, person post beta. And as you can see, uh, it's telling us that is the endpoint there, profile underscore updates. Now, this is going to be a post. We'll add our rapid API key and we'll add our host. So just make sure, guys, that it looks just like this with your unique API key, the profile updates and post. Now, we will again be doing a JSON body as per the documentation. Paste it in. Yes, we want to parse the response. And then for the URL, that'll be our URL from Airtable map that guy in. And for these parameters, I'm going to put 50, 10, and 3. When I was testing this before, this wasn't even working, so hopefully it works for us right here. But let's press OK. So I know I said 5, but let's limit it down. So 1, so that we can just test this and then run it once. Beautiful. We got a 200. It is working. Now let's add an iterator. We're going to iterate through this response array. Press OK. And now we will be creating a record in Airtable in our post table, right? We just got all their posts. We're going to create a record in the new table. So now select the post table here. And then the text posts, uh, you'll see right here, post text. For the creator, we're going to add in the record ID from the start there. This guy right here. 
because uh, again, we are searching those creators. Likes, we'll find that. Here's the social stuff, comments, number of comments, shares, number of shares, post date, we have posted at right here, and then post link, we have the post link. Cool, we'll press OK. Now the last thing to do here is add in another filter. Personally, I'm gonna do, if it has over 100 likes, you can do 500 likes, you can do whatever you want here, guys, but that is just what I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes. So we'll say numeric over 99. So it has to have at least 100 likes here. We'll press OK, auto align this, and then again, I'm gonna reset this to five. Okay, and let's run it. Awesome, so five people ran here. Looks like we got a ton of records. If we go over into posts, we'll see all these posts sorted by the most number of shares. We got the link right to the post if we wanna check it. Very, very cool. And then even over in creators, we can see which ones just ran and we have linked their post there. Uh, and again, on posts, we link the creator, which is awesome. And so again, you guys can use this however you want. You can make this as crazy as you want, uh, really dial in which creators you want in your database. What I would use it for is training an AI model. So I'll show you really quick how I would do that. So in Dojo, I would create a new data set here in the training tab and I would upload data through CSV. So what I would do is download this as a CSV. I would just go right here, download CSV. And then I would upload it right into here. And just to show you guys one example, let's say I really liked this post. When I upload that CSV, all of those posts uh, will be entered in here like this. And I would just change whatever topics I have in here. You can even have AI determine a topic. I want to actually modify it because I want it to be perfect and relevant here. So this is just kind of a story. So I would just say story of an SCR cold calling me. Uh, and that would be a similar output of what I would want if this is exactly the style I'm looking for, right? So then when I actually train this model and I type this in, I want it to output something like this, like an actual story. If we go enter this on the LinkedIn poster I've already trained, let's just see what we get so I can show you guys how good this stuff is. I love a good cold call. They're the lifeblood of outbound sales. A good SDR can completely change the trajectory of a company. Uh, and then it goes on to tell a story. <laughs> Um, it's actually doing like a similar style to what the guy did before, which is super cool. And yeah, it kind of goes on and on and on. But anyways, go crazy with this guys. Scrape LinkedIn. Don't steal. Use stuff as inspiration. Use stuff to train AI models. Use it for whatever it is you really want. But hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.